he, sh he showed his quality, didn't he, in the first half. Um, he's not had a great run with injuries, but can he be almost the difference for him maybe in the second part of the season? Because there's no doubt at this level, mm. he has the ability to see a pass, to take a goal. Mm. He's got a lot of composure with his finish. Absolutely. So each and every player in this in this group uh, is, is uh, unbelievably important because we because we don't have such a big group, such a big depth in the group like like the top clubs. And for that we need each and every player. And we don't have just uh, 11 uh, players in the starting lineup. So we have options. So we showed this uh, today. I was pleased with the like, uh, likes of Onel Hernandez, of uh, Mario, of uh, of course of Jamal Lewis and, uh, and Marcus Tiepem. It's not easy for them. You think they come in, they are recreated, they can deliver notes. Even uh, Jamal, for example, he wasn't involved in the, the recent weeks, and then to li deliver uh, on this um, on this level is not easy. And for that, it was uh, important that they delivered with a with a really good uh, performance. And uh, yeah, I was especially pleased with Mario as well. You made the four changes today. Will, again, because of the quick turnaround, will it have to be similar again, do you feel? Is mm. that in your mind? Yeah. yeah, first of all, we have to wait how uh, the injury situation develops a bit, because uh, Kenny McLean got also not uh, knock against his, uh, in his foot. He was also humping around a bit. I hope it's not too bad. We have to wait how the situation with Mario develops. In general, it was today the second game within three days, and it's never healthy to, to rotate on 10 or 11 positions, but we got the feeling, okay, the mix of, of four changes, uh, it's, it's, it's a good choice today. Day. Thank God we've got two, two days more right now to recover, and it's possible to play all four or five days uh, on this level. There, professional athletes, it's, uh, it's not a problem. Um, I think this situation was was even a bit more a problem. So we have to wait right now who is available, and then we have um, have to make some some late choices, and hopefully also again the right choices in order to be then there with a good performance and good result against uh, Palace. So giving the players one or two a breather. Suggestion maybe team who's not quite been as sharp as as we know he can be. Since Leicester, I mean, what would you say to that? But is reality? It's very hard to pull him out of the side and put somebody else in because he is so important to you. Yes, and uh, in general, of course, he had this um, incident with his uh, with his toe, and also for the offensive player, it's not that easy to play that much because uh, even defending positions, uh, you could realize, okay, my defenders were struggling a bit in the second half with with being uh, being tired. But even for offensive players, you even have to be a bit a bit more sharper uh, in order to score goals and uh, uh, or to uh, to assist. But um, it's also, of course, uh, yeah, sometimes you have a period when the first touch is not that clinical, for example, yeah, but. Uh, so he was then able to force um, the second goal, for example. Yeah, we, we had a brilliant win off the ball, then a nice little give and go, a perfect pass of Emi Buendia. And, and even in this scene, Timo was there with a brilliant movement in order to get the ball and he forced in the goal. Of course, his first touch could could have been a bit a bit more clinical. He scored a fantastic goal that was uh, disallowed by VRR. Otherwise, everyone would praise him uh, today as much. And yeah, believe me, he can handle the load. Uh, if, um, a top class, world class striker like Harry Kane is able to play each and every minute. And he's also crucial for such a team and it's not able to, to leave him out for, for one second anyhow, then uh, we rely even a bit more on Timo and, and all our, our trust is with him and for that, uh, no problems at all. Couldn't, couldn't work, that's what yes, no um, problem. Palace, what do you make of them? Obviously that was a game earlier in the season you probably felt you had a very good spell just before half time, I think. Possibly a game you could have got something out of, but I mean, how do you assess their season and their threats? Each and every game, uh, we have to prepare ourselves that we want to win some points. Let's let's be honest. So um, we were the biggest un favorite for position 20 in this league before the season starts, and we had bad luck in so many topics uh, during the first half of the season and topics of VAR decisions and topics of injury crisis also some uh, unlucky results anyhow um, and to be there after the first half of the season just with 12 points out of 19 games uh, let's be honest it would be a little miracle um, to to be allowed uh, to stay in this league also for the next season but one thing is uh, is for sure so uh, don't underestimate the attitude and uh, uh, the spirit of my lads and one thing is for sure this lads uh, will work their socks off in order to uh, to create this miracle and uh, I think it was a brilliant uh, brilliant first step um, today and a brilliant start into this second half of the uh, of the season and um, one thing is for sure, I can't guarantee that we will stay uh, in this league, but what I can guarantee that we will fight to the last game day and uh, for that it's also another great opportunity against Crystal Palace to be there, to win some points here at home and in, in this mood we'll prepare ourselves and, and show uh, again great spirit and then hopefully we are there also with a good result. Final one, that is the final game of 2019, just assess the year for yourself and the club ended with a great title win but it's also been tougher going in the Premier League, but as a year, how do you look back on it? 
Yes, it's always uh, a bit difficult to, to praise ourselves too much uh, and and also to try to stay humble uh, because it was definitely a sensational uh, season for the, for the whole club for everyone who was in, involved in Norwich City. We created a big sensation uh, without more or less spending money with uh, sp uh, selling uh, with the selling of some of our key players and some of our best players. Then to create a, a record season with uh, winning the championship title with a record season in terms of points of sc scored goals. Also, we were praised a lot for the brand of football that we that we played right now we're back in the top flight and we showed also some a great performance at uh, great days like for example win against man city win at goddess park uh, we played here in newcastle out of the park so we had some great memories of course also then on in this top flight some disappointing uh, results in the, in the recent recent week recent months but uh, overall i think it was a sensational uh, season for for this club and uh, yeah hopefully we can uh, we can work on the next miracle and create another uh, sensation hopefully uh, already in the summer.